Good morning, folks. We've got solar forcing and a note on the effects of Earth's weakening magnetic field. But we are starting, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet. Couple filaments lifting off lightly. Next coronal hole incoming on the south there. But the departing coronal holes had set their enhanced solar wind our way and it did indeed arrive last night. Density bulge in yellow is the bunched up particles ahead of the faster stream. And you can see that how the yellow line descends as the purple and green rise below it. Now it's the plasma speed and temperature enhancement of the coronal hole stream itself. Bottom right, you can see we did get some geomagnetic storm activity overnight. It is also worth noticing the filaments and brightness incoming. I've mentioned that even in powerful sunspot cycles, the sun takes a week or two off. Our first break of cycle 25 is almost over as active regions are returning. Brutal scene in India as an avalanche loosed a glacier that crashed into a dam and smashed through it like it was paper. Water cascaded down the valley and numerous individuals are missing, many presumed dead. Searches are still currently hampered by the ongoing situation. Couple big quakes last night. These struck the Papua and Philippines area and were not deep. Likely felt a good bit nearby, but damage and injury reports are slow to come in. Also having a blood echo bonanza across the water in South America, atmospheric signals building above that as well. Folks, we've spent copious amounts of time reviewing dozens of papers on the failure of modern climate models in paleoclimate scenarios. Blame falls to the oversensitivity bias of CO2, the cloud and aerosol uncertainty, they are huge, and the lack of proper account for solar and cosmic ray particle forcing. Today, we see the uncertainty sector explode. They make tiny advances here and there on an ever-winding road of scientific improvement until they land on, oh, you forgot this, and the game makes you take five steps back. Spatial differences in wildfires add 25% uncertainty to an already magnanimous total aerosol forcing range uncertainty. Imagine if all of a sudden, hurricane forecasting slipped back to a few hours warning only. That's how bad this is. But scientists are always trying to work ahead on other paths. Auroral heating of the upper atmosphere and ionosphere being broken down and quantified. It's a necessary step to fully appreciating the effects on vertical flows and the global electric circuit. Speaking of the ionosphere, it has worked by nearly every aspect of space weather and not just the particle forcing, but the irradiance maxima as well the solar flares. Despite what we went over earlier in the week about the false drops in solar irradiance in the climate model data, we still have scientists publishing in major journals expounding the effects of that irradiance spike on our upper layers. They do now begin to see where this idea of solar dimming during solar flares is a bit preposterous. Last but not least, another attempt to explain the ozone marks last year and to proclaim how much worse it could have been if we hadn't stopped certain pollutions. The last part may be true, it could have been worse, but it wouldn't have been as bad if not for the increased ozone destruction of solar protons with Earth's weakening magnetic field. They say again in this paper, it was an anomalous event, but it's only anomalous if you don't take into account what the Earth is doing at the interface with space, and if you don't account for that energy's modulation of the polar vortex. Earth's field is on the decline, and that means these allegedly anomalous events are going to keep happening more and more frequently and to greater extremes. We greatly appreciate your support, and a special thanks to Andy and Mary from the Land of Enchantment. They picked the Morning News shout-out reward for contributing to our new project, Observer Ranch. Lots of cool rewards and more coming in the future. Links to our websites and important playlists, as well as today's top stories, can be found in the description box below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.